Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an incredibly insightful piece of literature that has transformed countless lives and businesses. The book is titled Developing the Leader Around You, written by none other than John C. Maxwell, a best-selling author, speaker, and pastor who has written many books on leadership. John C. Maxwell is renowned for his profound understanding of leadership dynamics, human psychology, and team development. His contributions to the field of leadership have gained him international recognition and respect. Today, we'll be breaking down some of the critical points from developing the leader around you. So buckle up and let's dive in. 1. Empowerment. The first key point from the book is empowerment. Maxwell stresses the importance of empowering those around you. When leaders invest in their team members, provide them with resources, opportunities, and show them trust, it encourages these individuals to develop their skills and potential. This empowerment isn't just beneficial for the individuals involved, but also fosters a more dynamic, flexible, and powerful team. Empowerment also cultivates an environment of ownership, where each team member takes responsibility for their tasks. This sense of ownership often leads to increased productivity, efficiency, and job satisfaction as individuals feel more connected and valued within their roles. 2. Modeling The second key point is modeling. Maxwell firmly believes that actions speak louder than words. Leaders need to embody the qualities they want to see in their teams. This involves everything from ethics, work habits, attitude, communication style, and commitment. When leaders model these desirable qualities, it creates a tangible blueprint for their team members to follow. More importantly, it cultivates trust and respect within the team. People are more likely to follow a leader who walks the walk rather than one who merely talks the talk. 3. Potential Thirdly, Maxwell emphasizes on potential. He suggests that leaders need to see beyond their team members' current skills and abilities and instead recognize their latent potential. By doing so, leaders can encourage growth, provide opportunities for development, and help individuals surpass their self-imposed limitations. Seeing and nurturing potential in others is a potent form of motivation. It can inspire people to strive harder, to explore uncharted areas of their abilities, and to take risks they may not otherwise have taken. In the long run, it helps cultivate a team of competent, confident, and ambitious individuals. 4. Mentoring The fourth key point is mentoring. Maxwell suggests that leaders should act as mentors to their team members. This involves providing guidance, sharing experiences, offering advice, and helping individuals navigate their professional journeys. Mentoring goes beyond formal training and development programs. It's a personal, one-on-one -on -one relationship that can have a significant impact on an individual's growth and success. As a mentor, leaders can provide invaluable insights, help build confidence, and shape the future leaders of their teams. 5. Reproduction Fifthly, reproduction is a critical point in the book. Maxwell suggests that one of the primary goals of any leader should be to create more leaders. This can be achieved by replicating the qualities, values, and skills of effective leadership within your team members. Creating more leaders ensures the sustainability and growth of an organization or team. It also fosters a collaborative and empowered environment where each individual feels responsible and plays an active role in the team's success. 6. Equipping The sixth key point is equipping. Maxwell believes that leaders should equip their team members with the tools, knowledge, and skills they need to succeed. This involves providing the right training, resources, and learning opportunities. Equipping team members not only enhances their productivity and performance, but also boosts their confidence and job satisfaction. When individuals feel capable and competent, they're more likely to take initiative, overcome challenges, and deliver high-quality results. 7. Motivation The seventh key point is motivation. Maxwell suggests that one of the leader's primary roles is to motivate their team. This involves creating a positive and supportive work environment, recognizing and rewarding achievements, and inspiring individuals to reach their full potential. 
Motivation is a powerful driver of success. It can ignite passion, fuel perseverance, and inspire creativity, leading to increased productivity and superior results. 8. Attitude. Eighth, attitude is emphasized by Maxwell. He suggests that a leader's attitude can significantly influence their team's morale, productivity, and overall success. As such, leaders should maintain a positive and resilient attitude, irrespective of the challenges they face. A positive attitude can inspire and motivate a team, foster a positive work environment, and improve problem solving and decision making skills. Moreover, a resilient attitude helps leaders navigate through challenges, model perseverance, and motivate their team to do the same. 9. Relationships. Ninth, Maxwell talks about the importance of relationships. He believes that successful leadership relies heavily on strong and healthy relationships. Leaders should focus on building trust, understanding, and respect with each of their team members. These relationships serve as the foundation of a successful team. They foster collaboration, improve communication, and create a supportive work environment. Furthermore, strong relationships can also improve conflict resolution and team cohesion. 10. Intuition. Lastly, intuition is a vital key point in Maxwell's book. He suggests that effective leaders often rely on their intuition to make decisions, solve problems, and navigate through complex situations. While data and facts are essential, leaders should also develop and trust their intuitive skills. Intuition, according to Maxwell, often stems from experience, knowledge, and a deep understanding of one's team and business. It can guide leaders in uncertain or ambiguous situations, help them seize opportunities, and prevent potential issues before they escalate. In conclusion, John C. Maxwell's Developing the Leader Around You is an essential guide for anyone who aspires to be a better leader or hopes to nurture leaders around them. The key points we discussed encapsulate the book's essence and provide a roadmap to effective leadership. The ultimate lesson from this book is that leadership is not a solitary journey, but a collective effort. It is about recognizing, nurturing, and empowering the potential in those around you. Remember, leadership is less about ruling over others and more about fostering an environment of growth, empowerment, and mutual success. By adopting these practices and applying Maxwell's principles, you'll not only grow as a leader, but also contribute to creating a world filled with more effective and inspirational leaders. And with that, we wrap up our deep dive into John C. Maxwell's Developing the Leader Around You. We hope you found this exploration insightful and that it sparks your journey toward becoming an even more effective leader. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more book breakdowns and key insights. Until next time, keep reading, keep learning, and keep leading.